Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 120, when to use Power Apps Portals. In the last tip, I talked about when not to use Power Apps Portals. In this tip, I'm covering some of the scenarios that I see are great use cases for using Power Apps Portals. To me, the real power of Power Apps Portals are the list and form capabilities that let you quickly and easily create a portal that allows users to interact with Dataverse data. So I see the strongest use cases based around that functionality. In my experience, the most successful portals implementations happen when the organization is getting value out of having their data in Dataverse beyond just their portals, and they work within the user experience framework provided by the lists and form features of Power Apps Portals. The most common use case I see implemented is Help Desk. The Dynamics 365 based templates for Power Apps Portals include Help Desk functionality based on the case entity in Dynamics 365 Customer Service. Using this, you can very quickly get a portal up and running that allows non Dynamics users, whether they are internal or external, to start interacting with support personnel. These days, offering a self service support portal is pretty much expected, and Power Apps Portals is a great way to get that done. Another really common use case we see is creating a portal for partners. Often in these cases, the partner portal replaces a hodgepodge of other communication via phone and email that might already be tracked in a model-driven app or Dynamics 365. We find that when building out partner portals, we are able to focus more on delivering the business functionality than specific user experience requirements, which is a great fit for a low-code platform. We also find that Power Apps Portals is a great fit when time to market is a key factor in a project's success, especially in cases when you can leverage existing investments in model-driven apps or Dynamics 365. Often it can be a case of just using existing forms and views, allowing you to create a portal in a fraction of the time that it would take to build one from scratch. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 120 on when to use Power Apps Portals useful.